That old boy. We was working the graveyard. He said, man, let's go to the Rocks of Bands when we get out. Go snag him. I said, well, what, what do I need? He said, you bring the biggest, baddest reel and rod you got. <laughs> Stick. <laughs> it's like eight foot. You can hold it by the tip of the rod. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out. Uh, <laughs> it had a millionaire reel on it, which probably had way over 100 yards of line on it. 17 pound test. He had some treble hooks on that was that big around with a lid on it. So he said, all right, we get down there. I throw out there, I made a couple of, <laughs> and I hit something. <laughs> Just like I hit something, you know? And uh, it, it wasn't nothing, so I reeled in. I had a scale on that hook that big around. I go, oh, my God. What is this? And, uh, so, about another 20, 30 minutes, I stuck something. And, uh, that sucker ran about 20 yards and stopped. And this current was about 10 to 15 miles an hour. And it ran about 20 yards and stopped. And I had that flipping stick from tip to butt. <laughs> and I couldn't even move it. And he decides he's going to go out a little further. So, while he was running now, I had to drag so tight it would cut your hand to try to pull it out. And he was peeling it off like I just throwed it. So I put my thumbs on the spool, trying to slow him down. Uh, at that point, I still had plenty of line. <coughs> He stopped, tipped the butt, couldn't move it. Well, about half my line's gone now. And he decides he's gonna take another run. So he's running, I'm holding the rod and put both thumbs on the dead gum spool again, trying because I'm fixing to run out of line. And something big to happen. And uh and I'm kinda I'm right there at the water's edge and I didn't know if he was gonna pull me in or what, you know, because this thing was like big as me, whatever it was. And uh well I get down to where <laughs> I think to start seeing the spoon. So I brace up and it got to the end and it just went yeah! <laughs> and uh, I throw that damn rod down. And this was in March. <laughs> throw that rod down and stuck my hands in that dead gum water. These thumbs, son, mm, they were burnt. <laughs> we had a bag of ice and a cooler. And I melted every cube, every cube in that bag on these stones. And that ain't no lie. It hurt so bad that night I couldn't even sleep. And and the whole time I'm trying to think, what am I gonna get to to catch this fish? What am I gonna use? Something with pulleys on it? You know? And uh Man, hey, for six months, every time I get out of the shower, these two thumbs would turn white. <laughs> ain't no lie. 
You ain't been back. I ain't been back. That sun's gonna hurt me, boy. I'm talking pain. <sighs> See, I can't.